Hi everyone, this is Jason from Edulogix where we teach you logic behind things. I am back with another informative video for those who are planning to start their nursing career in New Zealand in the year 2024 onwards. As I mentioned in my previous video that New Zealand Nursing Council is undergoing a major change in 2024 with the closure of the competency assessment program and they are going to start a new assessment pathway which will include an online exam and a practical examination in 2024. So if you are someone who has not yet started the procedure in 2023 and you are trying to think of the way how to start this in 2024, this video will be very very useful for you. Make sure to stick till the end of the video to get all the comprehensive information about the changes and how this may impact your career. As I mentioned before, all internationally qualified nurses and midwives who are directly applying to New Zealand Nursing Council and whose qualification do not meet the standards, they need to undergo a competency assessment program, which is basically a training program of 6 to 12 weeks in New Zealand to complete their licensing procedure. This competency assessment program is coming to an end in 2023 with the New Zealand Nursing Council introducing new changes from the beginning of 2024. So the New Zealand Nursing Council is introducing a similar model to Australia and UK wherein internationally qualified nurses need to undergo some assessments conducted by the council to get their nursing license. Similar to Australia, the New Zealand Nursing Council will introduce an online exam as well as a small educational module and a practical OSCE exam, Objective Structured Clinical Examination for which nurses will have to come to New Zealand and appear in this one day exam. As per the New Zealand Nursing Council website, the online exam can be something that is conducted in most of the countries. So I am assuming that it may be similar to NCLEX or maybe same as NCLEX. As part of these changes, the New Zealand Nursing Council will implement a similar pathway for enrolled nurses as well. And again, similar to Australia, they may be required to appear in an online examination and an OSCE exam to get their license as an enrolled nurse. A big change that is also being introduced in 2024 is that New Zealand Nursing Council is scrapping away the requirement of 2500 hours of work experience in the last five years which they currently have. Instead, they will introduce a new rule that any nurse who applies for registration with New Zealand Nursing Council just need to have one year of experience after completing the qualification and obtaining their nursing license in their home country. This new rule will be very helpful for those who have career gaps or who haven't practiced recently but still want to get their nursing license in New Zealand. If you are a nurse who is currently undergoing the competency assessment program or your application is already with the New Zealand Nursing Council and is currently undergoing assessment in 2023, these changes will not affect you for a good amount of time, but make sure that you complete everything, all the paperwork within this year. In terms of the cost of this new assessment pathway, New Zealand Nursing Council has not provided the exact amount or information about the fees. However, they have indicated that it will be much lesser than the current fees that a nurse incurs when she does the competency assessment program. Now there is some mystery about the online examination wherein currently they have not mentioned that this is going to be NCLEX. My assumption is that this is very much going to be an NCLEX examination. However, to also be fair, New Zealand Nursing Council has already an online exam that all domestically educated nurses who have done their bachelor qualification in New Zealand undergo at the final year. So it may be a possibility that the nurses may have a similar exam to that. So we'll have to wait and watch and see how these things changes in 2024. I will keep an eye on the News and Nursing Council website and I will let you know surely once more information is available about the online examination. The OSCE exam will be very similar to Australia, I think. There also you'll have simulated patients as well as actors who are acting like patients and the nurse will be assessed in each of the individual stations. This will be a one day examination again similar to Australia and you'll need a valid visa to come to New Zealand and appear in this exam. 
Interestingly, News and Nursing Council is also considering introducing a pre-short course of a OSCE preparation, which may be helpful for nurses who are, you know, struggling with how to prepare for the OSCE. So they are looking at an online module, which I believe will have different components of OSCE and will kind of give you an introduction about the OSCE program conducted by the News and Nursing Council. I hope you enjoyed this video and this video was useful for you. If you are a registered nurse already in UK, Ireland, Singapore, Canada or America and you want to come and practice in New Zealand and want to take a direct registration without any exams or programs, please make sure to check out my video in which I have explained the whole process in detail. You can see it now by clicking on the I button here. Until next time, stay safe and stay happy.